gas-minded at a good price. But not to worry about us, we've already been caught. Have you seen any delicate sauce? Delicious. And can you answer our question? Golden Valley, the only microwave. Do you know? Confucius say nuggets of wisdom are never as tasty as these. We're flying down to, to uh, Buenos Aires to begin this picture gung-ho for Paramount. And uh, I remember the, it, it went from, from L.A. to um, uh, Panama and then landed and then Panama. It went to Rio, Rio de Janeiro. I remember we were there at sunup, and I we got off and we were changing the plane, or got off the plane, or maybe they're gassing up. I have no idea, but we had to get off the plane for a little bit in the Rio airport, right at sunup. And I'm looking up on that hill, and that famous statue is up there, you know. All right. Then we end up getting back on the plane, and then and then uh, going down to uh, Buenos Aires. So. Buenos Aires, to give you just a little background, it, this was 86 or 85. No, yeah, this was 1985, okay. And um, this is only a, like two years after the big war they had with, uh, with uh, the UK, right? Um, with not the UK, but with uh, uh, Great Britain, right? England. So, sorry if I'm mixing that all up, okay? Uh, the uh, British called it the Falkland War, and the Argentina people called it the Malvinas. That's what they called those islands, war. And um, uh, Argentina, of course, had a very difficult time and, um, in that war. Well, both sides did, but I mean, Argentina lost that war. So. When we got there, it was only a couple of years after the war, and their economy was horribly just just devastated. Um, I remember seeing right in front of me uh, s uh, some of the uh, friends that I made, uh, you know, in Argentina, and their money. It was it was called um, Australis. No, not Australis. Something like that. Uh, Astro, Aust no, it's Australis or something. Anyway, it was so devalued that they went by the money bills in color. So, like, let's say if it had a five, five dollar bill, fifty dollar bill, five hundred dollar bill, five thousand dollar bill, it was all that same color. And their money was so devalued that they were using, you know, five hundred dollar bills just for five dollars. They 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 didn't want to print any more money, I guess, or I don't know what, but or didn't have it. Or I mean, it was just it was terrible. I saw it was so sad. I saw some people take their money and just so angry they just threw it, you know, like in the trash can, uh, uh, cursing, you know, what was going on. So when we landed uh, at the Buenos Aires airport and got off the plane, an army of cabs, an army just descended on us. And, and they're just going, you know, take me, I'll take you, I'll take you to get in, all of this other stuff. And wow, you know, um, uh, customs took a while to get through. So we ended up uh, being uh, taken uh, to the, the, it was a Sheraton Hotel in near downtown, I guess, Buenos Aires, uh, which is a nice section of Buenos Aires where you're near walking distance to their main um, uh, restaurant, shops, and all that, you know, the place to go and nightlife called uh, Florida, which they, I think they pronounce it Florida Street. And we were, I don't know, four blocks away, walking distance from there. Before I go further, I just want to point something out. Uh, if you've been watching these uh, stories, you know, uh, 
uh, videos. I thank you very much for watching them. But you probably noticed that there's a light over there that sometimes goes on and off or out or whatever. Uh, trust me, I have other lights. But in my sense of humor, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe you could make bets on when the light's going to go out or whatever, or something. Anyhow, okay, I, I could change it, but you know what? I don't know. Maybe I'm loyal. It started out on this shoot, so I'll just not fire it. Anyhow, okay, if you could please put up with that. We get uh, to the Sheraton uh, Buenos Aires Hotel or whatever, um, uh, and we're in the car and on the way over some people, some of the actors were open the window and were singing Evita, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, you know, any kind of nutty from the plane ride. So anyway, we, we get there and find out um, a lot of things from the company didn't make it out of customs. They disappeared. Things like props. We were these Japanese executives or whatever, and we were told we'd be wearing like Rolex watches, or at least big knockoffs of them. But anyway, Rolex. Go on. Expensive camera parts, lenses. The, the, the crew had a fit. We're going to start shooting, and all of a sudden, all of this equipment somehow disappeared in customs. Uh, I don't recall us personally losing anything, but the company in their equipment that they brought from the U.S., many of which is really expensive stuff, like those camera lenses and stuff, you know, not, not like for your for your for your SLR camera, for like Panavision camera and everything, that's how we ended up starting uh, this shoot. And they had to scramble to find things in South America that they could use equivalent to that. But anyhow, we ended up uh, uh, starting out the picture, and and then. Uh, other stuff started happening. 